we're six and nine right now. Talking to a few others. And like I said before, I want to make sure we do it the right way and, and get the right guys. I've talked to a lot of guys, but I'm going to make sure I feel 100% certain with the guys that I'm hiring. You like the mix that you have? I really do. We have a, a blend of young and older, more experienced, um, but all great teachers and all great men. So I, I really like what, where we are right now. The right way is getting the right people. And, and if, if it takes another couple of days, then we'll, we'll I'll take another couple of days to get those other three guys in. But uh, I have a lot of names. It's not for a lack of names. It's uh, making sure we get the right blend. Oh, absolutely. We have more than enough personnel to do the recruiting. There's, you know, anywhere from eight to ten spots left. And, um, you got to be careful now that you don't get too many guys trying to get into the uh, boat right now. So it's, it's you're trying to balance the numbers. Yeah, we, we took some time and as a staff and evaluated the available players in the local states, this state and the local states. We took a, you know, a day to do that to make sure we watched the film. Um, I think it's very important now that uh, these eight guys that we get have the academics that we need to have, have the integrity that we need to have, and also are able to play great college football to help us win championships. For the process? No, I don't feel like I'm held up at all in the process. Like I said, I've talked to a lot of guys, and I have a stack of resumes, um, but my focus has been probably more 75% recruiting. I was out on the road four days last week in four different states. Um, so my focus is 75% recruiting, 25% for the last couple guys on the staff. Now, those first couple guys were critical to get get, get rolling with us, but uh, I feel pretty good where we are. Players? Though. No, not at all. We had our first team meeting on Sunday night. Um, tried to lay the groundwork for the who we're going to be and what we're going to be. Uh, but in terms of evaluating our current players, I have not done that. What was your message? Well, I think the big message is, first of all, is being accountable for everything that we do uh, and making sure that Purdue is no longer thought of as a middle team. And we need to rise to the top and stop be, being perceived as a, as a team that's hanging in the middle. Uh, absolutely. It, it's, it's about both. It's about getting, getting those guys from these neighboring states that can bring fans into the stadium, but also they understand what it's like in the month of November, December, when you're playing for championships. It's, it's a little tougher, a little colder, uh, and, and they've played it. Well, I, absolutely. I think that you know, if you look at the, the Big Ten and what the rosters are comprised of, the majority of the rosters are comprised of, you're going to find most of the kids are from the Midwest. Uh, and I think there's a lot to be said about that.